from the Lancaster National Soccer Center. It's a state cup final in a boys under 15 category featuring the PQ Premier Red team versus the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg Porter for George Landon Video Sports Productions. And the PQ Premier Red is head coached by Seamus McFadden. The manager is Carol Robinson. Number two at left defense is Tal Midian. Number three at right mid or defender is uh, Marshall Feis. Number four at midfield is Michael Quaresma. Number five at left mid is Jose Guerrero. Number six at center mid is Connor McFadden. Number seven at right defender is Keldon Hatch. Number eight at midfield is Brendan Romero. Number 10 at forward is Amir Puna. Number 11 at forward is Steven Poza. Number 12 at midfield and it's in the six yard box and it's kicked out of there. Number 13 at midfield is Ethan Seeley. Number 14 at right defense is Christopher Gabriel. Number 15 at defense, uh, defender or stopper is Steven Griswold. And number 16 at stopper is John Bonnefeld. And now we have a throw in. The, uh, the uh, PQ Premier Red team with the throw in. And attacking an 18 yard box. And he was being marked very heavily, the player for the PQ Premier. And it is now going to be a goal kick. Atlas on the soccer ball, and that ball will go past the near side touch line, and it'll be a throw in for PQ Premier. Pre PQ Premier uh, beat, uh, or they won in the La Jolla Cup. They also won the Nomads College Showcase, and they also won the Presidio League. That ball at midfield and now driven out of play by Atlas. And it'll be a throw in for PQ Premier Red. PQ Premier down the near side touchline. Atlas on it. At midfield now, PQ has it. And they drive that ball all the way down toward the 18 yard box or the keeper. For Atlas comes out and makes a save. Good marking that, there that time. Poza getting it over there to his teammate Seeley. Seeley was uh, dispossessed that time. And at midfield now the hitter being brought down by Atlas. In their own defensive half. Off uh, PQ Premier. And now they have it. And get it going back the other way with a long ball. But that doesn't last long as Atlas trying to attack here in this state cup final in a boys under 15 category. Nice step over there by PQ Premier Reds John Bonifield. And now in his central, uh, still on a soccer ball as Poza, and he tried to drop it off with a run from the far, from the wing of his teammate to try to slip it past the keeper, but uh, that ball had a little bit too much pace on it and the keeper able to make the save. And now at midfield, there's going to be a free kick. The foul against PQ Premier. So Atlas going to try to get it into that 18-yard box at the doorstep of the box, and it's out of there by PQ Premier. And nice heel kick forward looking for Bonifeld. Bonifeld, uh, or that was Seeley who has it, and Seeley trying to continue but could not. Was dispossessed of the soccer ball. It'll be a throw in for Atlas. No score here in the first half of action 
here at the Lancaster National Soccer Center. In his center uh, to the wide side of your picture towards the 18-yard box. And a blast by Atlas. And over the top of the uh, net, Byron Boykin watching that one uh, go past. Still no score here in the first half. Nil-nil with PQ Premier having a goal kick. Trying to get a lot of air and get it up to midfield. They do. And on a bounce, it's now the defensive half heading toward the defensive third of Atlas. Chasing it down there was Amir Puna. Puna not able to get to it as a defender for Atlas kicking it out of play. So PQ Premier will throw it in. That's John Bonifield. He'll take it. Bonifield going to take it and get it. try to get into that attacking area. In the box off of one bounce, but had way too much velocity and pace of that ball for it to be tracked down there by Steven Poza. So now Atlas trying to get it up the field, and they do. Retreating back is PQ Premier back in their own 18-yard box. The keeper, uh, Boykin, getting it out to his right to start the offense this time around. PQ Premier now into space. Still possession of the soccer ball now. Over to Gabriel. Dispossessed now. And here comes Atlas with two teammates to finally secure the ball. And now taking a shot into the 18-yard box. But it's broken up. They weren't able to connect. They had a player near, but they just couldn't quite get it to him. And now Atlas regains possession of it. There they are in the space. But double teamed nicely by PQ. And trying to come out with it, and they do now. On it now is Puna. Puna circling around. Puna gets it over to his teammate. A return pass for, to Puna. Puna now for a run into the corner. Uh, Poza trying to get to it, and he's tripped up once he got it to the 18-yard box. Poza, a nice run on the wide, but uh, he was tripped up. And so now it is going to be one of the things that Atlas did not want, and that is a penalty shot because Poza was tri tripped up inside the 18-yard box. In time, anytime that happens, a foul inside the box, you're going to get a penalty shot. And so now, PQ Premier with a chance to take a one to nothing lead here in the first half in the final. Teeing it up there. I believe that's John Bonifield. Against the keeper. The shot and let's go! Go, 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 go! Oh, la, 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 la! Beautiful shot that time. And it is one to nothing. PQ Premier off a penalty shot against the keeper. So PQ Premier able to take advantage of their player getting tripped in the 18-yard box the run by Poza and it was enough to get him a penalty shot and most of the time those are are one especially at this level that you can get it in the back of the net and get yourself a lead and now PQ Premier has one one to nothing Atlas now into the central and they take a long shot, easily handled by Byron Boykin. And Boykin runs it away from the line there and his line and then takes it and drives it up the field. It goes out of play in a defensive half of Atlas. Atlas has run into a team that knows how to win tournaments. And... They already have the one to nothing lead here in the first 10 to 10 minutes or so of the first half. Atlas with a throw in from their own defensive half and it's knocked out of play, knocked out there by Christopher Gabriel, the right defender. Gabriel not wanting anybody to get behind him. Not wanting the ball to go any further. 
Alice now with a throw in. Into the corner. Atlas on a soccer ball. Atlas dispossessed as running back with Steven Poza. The striker running back to not allow Atlas to get set up real well there. The throw into the 18 yard box and it is knocked out of play. Steven Griswold knocking it out. Griswold, the defender slash stopper. And it is going to be a corner kick as Griswold knocked it past the goal line. And a bending ball off the corner. Atlas taking a shot and it was partially deflected off of one of the PQ Premier players. And so because of that, it's going to be a corner kick for Atlas again. Bending ball. This time, getting up there, he snatched it with one hand or stopped it with one hand, and then Boykin was able to secure it with the other one. Nice effort and a good presence of mind to know where that soccer ball is and to make sure it gets secured. And so now Boykin will make the save, and he'll throw down a field. Trying to get a teammate to run onto it, and there he gets Posey. Posa, Posa now to the outside for Pana. Pana takes a shot and a goal! Go, 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 go! Pana, a beautiful shot, beating the keeper and into the back of the net in the far post. Wow, what a shot by Amir Pana. So it is now two to nothing. PQ Premier Red here in the State Cup Championship, boys under 15. Now Atlas with it. The Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Now they really have their work cut out for them as they're down by two goals. Trying to get something going here. As they get a pass to the central, it doesn't last long. As it's taken away. Uh, but they're able to get it back momentarily, but uh, then it bounces up. And a PQ Premier have it. The red team at midfield. And they're still on the soccer ball. Still staying after it is Ethan Seeley. Seeley in his space. He's dispossessed. And that ball goes out of play. PQ Premier here in the first half have shown how game they are for this big uh, chance to uh, win the championship here in the State Cup Final in Lancaster. I said the first goal was scored by John Bonifield. It was not. It was scored by Steven Griswold. Griswold number 15. Tough to see his number. But uh, Griswold is going to get credit for the goal as he was the one who put it in the back of the net on that penalty shot. A throw in uh, or a free kick for PQ Premier. Bending ball. Going to be tough for the keeper, and he cannot get it in. He cannot keep it out of the net. Oh, my. That is a goal. And maybe because it actually was touched, I take that back by Griswold. Griswold was able to get a, a part of of his body onto that play and get it in the back of the net. So Griswold has two goals. Three to nothing, PQ Premier leads. Wow, what a play by Griswold. So Griswold has a penalty shot and Griswold also has now a Goal off of a set piece. Outstanding. PQ leading here. It'll be a throw in. 
Atlas into the 18-yard box. Atlas again trying to get into the box further. Can't do it. The header, and they had an opportunity there, but uh, that ball was not handled by the single player the way he wanted it to, to be able to bring it down and put it in the back of the net. That wasn't a bad service into the uh, six-yard box for Atlas. Fortunately for PQ Premier, that ball did not get brought down the way they wanted it to, and a quality chance here. It's going to be a throw in for the PQ Premier Red. In towards the box, and they get a shot to the far side looking for a runner. They have that runner, and then the keeper is able to make the save. They have been able to create problems for Atlas in this game, getting the runners from the far side into the box. And that has been a problem for Atlas not being able to mark that player as well as they should. And PQ Premier taking advantage of it so far here in the first half segment of the first half of the game. So in the 17 or 18 minutes gone, um, getting leading up towards 20 minutes, they have already shown that they can be pretty lethal three to nothing and this three to nothing lead might just stand up for pq premier however in watching the game so far atlas has shown that they could still move the soccer ball that they still have speed down the field and so if you're pq premier you can't go to sleep driven back and of course at this point in time both teams dealing with the wind. The wind blowing in the favor of PQ Premier in this first half. Now, when they have to turn around and go the other way, it's going to be a different scenario. And that is when, like I said, if you're PQ Premier, you can't think this game is over because Atlas can have that opportunity to use the wind in the second half, and they, and they will have an added um, scenario to help them try to win the game. There was a uh, foul. Was it a foul on the play? And that foul goes against PQ Premier. And so now, at about the top of the 18 yard box, it is a free kick all the way down the field. And off the uh, chest trap, brought back all the way back to the deep back where Griswold has to handle it and try to get it upfield to his teammate. Quickly there, Seeley getting a touch and then Seeley getting it to the outside. Seeley might get a return pass, might not, but he did. He touched it quickly and his teammate did too, but he couldn't uh, possess it long enough and it was taken away. So Atlas now with moves at midfield. They have it to uh, their run on a counterattack on the wide. Here they are in the box and a shot had just missed. The player for Atlas might have been better served to take his time on that shot because he may have rushed that shot and it created a situation where he missed the far, getting it inside the far post. Sometimes at this age, the uh, players feel that they need to hurry themselves rather than take their time and get a good quality shot. And the players that realize that they have more time than in their mind than what appears on the field are the ones that usually can get the real tough shots that make it very difficult for the keeper. Keeper for Atlas driving it down the field. His team down three to nothing here in the first half. Over 20 minutes or so gone. So we're at uh, past the halfway mark of the first half. Center F making a call there. And that call is going to go against PQ Premier in the central. So Atlas now with an opportunity to drive it down the field. Let's see what they can do with it here. 
on another uh, opportunity. But coming up to meet it there is Griswold. Griswold reducing the size of the field. It goes back down to Central with only one in the deep back for Atlas. And he was being pressured heavily there by PQ Premier Striker. And so now it's going to be a throw in against the win for PQ Premier. Coming up there to grab it is John Bonifield. Taking it from Ethan Seeley. So Bonifield to throw it in. Bonifield right there in the box, but the white and blue are there of Alice. And they're able to get it out of danger, but not for long as over in the corner trying to make a big play. And that one was a little bit too far to make it inside the near post. But again, PQ Premier has shown their ability to kind of backdoor the Atlas defenders and to get that ball in the back of the net. They've taken care of, they've taken advantage, so to speak, of that right defending side of Atlas. In the central now. And working it again along that far side. And Atlas now will take it, drive it down the field, but they didn't get it very far. And a giveaway to PQ Premier. On at that time was Brian Robinson. And he gets that runner again on the left side of that defense. And uh, a save has to be made. Continuing to create problems for Atlas of Escondido. And the Tigers of Escondido have to retreat back again because here comes PQ Premier dribbling the ball, just directing it, possessing it, doing it very well when they need to. But there's a foul now in his space, and it'll be a free kick for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. And they're going to drive it down a few across midfield, but just momentarily as the PQ Premier Red have it again. And that's going to be a call against the Atlas Tigers. So now it's going to be a free kick. Free kick for PQ Premier Red. In his space, trying to get it into the 18-yard box. They already lead 3 to nothing here in the first half of the State Cup Final. Boys under 15. Broken up at a doorstep of the box by the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Bringing it down, though, is PQ Premier Red. On the nice dribble was Christopher Gabriel. Gabriel trying to get the pass again from his teammate, help, trying to help him out. And that is Seeley. Gabriel going to throw it in. Has a teammate hold on to it for a minute, and then it goes back over to Gabriel. Gabriel being marked heavily, can't possess it any longer. And a, 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 almost a trip, but the center ref didn't call it. Atlas Tigers going back the other way. They have numbers, and just in the middle of the field is the stopper, Griswold. Griswold standing tall and making a big play. He'll kick, beautiful play, into the box. Trying to get to it, but uh, the defender for Atlas, ha the Tigers of Escondido had to get retreat back, and he got to it just in time to get it out of play. Otherwise, a big quality chance on a runner into the box for PQ Premier. Now throwing it in is Bonifield. And a save is made by the keeper. Another accurate job done off this uh, silver soccer ball here in the boys under 15 championship game here in Lancaster, California. The throw in by PQ Premier Red. The team that is ahead in this game, three to nothing. Connor McFadden getting it into the box. Couple of uh, touches there by the Atlas Tigers, and it is going to be out of play. The throw in this time now by John Bonifield. Bonifield looking for somebody to run onto it. Won't get it. Well, now he does as he gets uh, Connor McFadden 
over his teammate, but can't hold on to it long. They take it away, but now they have it back to the red, but only momentarily in the space. Tigers of uh, uh, Atlas Tigers of Escondido playing well to uh, dispossess the ball from the PQ Premier Red team and get it back in their defensive half, but they can't do it long enough as it was taken away, and then the keeper had to make a save. And now in their own defensive third, they try to get a runner on the wide side. They do, and he is upended, and let's see what the call is. It's going to be a foul, and quickly getting it restarted is the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. PQ Premier trying to get it out of their own half of the field as the white and blue try to put the pressure on as they continue. It's to the near side now. Nice move there by Poza. Gets it to his teammate. And that is um, Seeley. But Seeley dispossessed of the soccer ball. Now they have to retreat back. But nice covering for each other in the space that time by PQ Premier. And they're able to come out with a soccer ball. And they're on the attack on a counter to the white side of your picture there. They're still on it. They stop it there. Still in the space, and then finally a foul is committed by PQ Premier Red, and it'll be a free kick out of their own defensive third. The Atlas Tigers up to midfield it rolls, but now on it very quickly there was Christopher Gabriel. Gabriel trying to get it to his teammate, but he had too much pace on a soccer ball, and he fell down. And actually he didn't fell down. He was pushed down, and it's going to be a free kick right there. So it'll be Brian Robinson, the midfielder, taking it. Robinson with a free kick. Just a couple of feet from the near side touchline against the wind. Robinson's bending ball. He gets it in the box and trying to get somebody. And that was the man who comes from the back, Stephen Griswold, to be able to handle it. And he did not. And that's thankfully for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Otherwise, it would have been a 4 to nothing lead in this game. They already have three Do the red and black. Atlas now coming out with it at midfield. But they try to go down to central. And that is one of the things that's been very tough for them. Most of the time in this game, in the first half, they try to go down to central and they can't do it because they stiff it up Do the PQ Premier Red team and uh, the players. And they do a fine job of it. And now we have a yellow card. Yellow card against the Atlas Tigers now. And the center ref going to kind of slow things up here before they get to restart it. The red already leading three to nothing. Here's Brian Robinson again. Robinson wearing the, the gloves on a, on a very blustery cold day here at Lancaster National Soccer Center. Because of the wind, he bends it. A long way into the box. They're still trying to get a, a strike on it. And we have a foul. And that foul is going to get, go against PQ Premier. So it'll be the Atlas Tigers of Escondido with a free kick out of their own defensive third past midfield. They don't possess it long as getting to it is Robinson. Robinson weaves it to the outside. And the pass directed to the interior is taken away. And now out to the wide trying to get it again is PQ Premier Red. They couldn't do it as uh, that ball had too much pace on it and goes past the Far side touchline. The three nothing score you see here in the state cup final for 2006. The boys under 15 category. Watching PQ Premier Red with a nice comfortable three nothing lead here in the first half. But here comes the white and blue as they get numbers. But there are a lot of red and black back there to defend. So they'll come out together. See if they can counter upfield. Doesn't last long, though, as 
the defenders are able to help out and get it a coordinated attack for a counter for Atlas. But coming over there again is the big stopper, Stephen Griswold. And Griswold moving up the field. Griswold freely. And there's a foul. Foul against Griswold. And they throw it over his head as he retreats back. And now from the far side, they got a good run here. And they're going to circle and wait for some numbers to get in the box. Trying to weave and spin, and that didn't have any effective action to it as it was taken away by PQ Premier Red. So the Red come out with it, and they go up the field. Only two attacking players now in a space, but stopping it and leaving it, and a goal! Go, 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 go! Steven Poza with the goal. And Amir Puna on a beautiful run in the box, getting it to Poza, who is not marked well enough, and Poza able to put it in the back of the net. And now substitutions coming in, and we'll mention those players as they touch that soccer ball. But it is now four to nothing, PQ Premier Red. They have really come out to play today. They've come out to play as a team. They've come out to play individually. And it has worked in the fashion of a big four on the scoreboard. Time running out in the first half, but with a big four to nothing lead and a long distance shot taken by the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. And that one was just wide of the uh, goal. So down four to nothing, they still are in this contest. Ball after the goal kick, driven up to midfield. Trying to get a player to run onto it. And now it is uh, on the far side. It'll be a throw in. To midfield now. Atlas Tigers of Escondido collected. Drive it down to central. Trying to find a way around that wall of the Atlas, of the uh, PQ Premier Red team. And it is knocked out of play again. Griswold standing tough, top of the box. It'll be a throw in though for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. The ball driven down the field and again, here they go with a player unmarked, and now he's being marked, and it's dribbling uh, onto the foot of a uh, Atlas Tiger of Escondido, and then they drive it up the field. Connor McFadden would have loved to have an extra second there because he could have took a quality chance at the keeper. With his team leading four to nothing, and now the header going laterally. Over to the uh, Tigers, Atlas Tigers now. And they still have possession of it. They collect it well. Trying to continue some sort of passing game to try to get a goal here. And they have a long distance shot. And that one just missed. It was high and quite accurate. But a little bit too high. And... That had to be quite a blast considering the wind working against them. To the outside now. And they get this one over on your wide side of your picture for a run along the far side touchline, but it doesn't last long as he's stiffen up. On the outside of the 
attack and defense of the Atlas Tigers. And here they come now and it towards the 18 yard box, the attacking area. Attacking third, they get it over. And they have a player in the box. He's trying to turn. And as soon as he turned with that soccer ball, maybe trying to do too much instead of trying to pass it back to one of his teammates. And so now they're going to try it again. A bending ball, uh, one that's taken with a lot of velocity, but coming up with it is Byron Boykin. Nice save. And that was probably the best shot, accurate shot so far of the game for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. That is the thing they're going to need more of if they're going to have a chance to tie this game or to win it. They still have plenty of time. In the corner. Atlas Tigers of Escondido now. Coming down to Central. They still have an opportunity here to maybe get a goal before the end of the first half. They're getting the touches. They're taking their time a little bit more now as this first half has ensued. Ha having a little bit more fun with that soccer ball in the passing game. They don't have a lot of time left, though, here in the first half. The throw in. Got two players for the PQ, PQ Premier Red attacking that weak side of the defenders for Atlas Tigers. However, they do a fine job that time being able to get that ball out of the danger and push it upfield. And if you look at what the PQ Premier Red team has been able to do, a lot of times when they have scored or had a good attacking play, it has been a cross the field type of pass that has created the danger and the problems for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Not so much from running the ball from the back on a counter. And maybe that'll be a thing that the Atlas Tigers of Escondido will talk about in the second half to try and see if they have, will have a chance to tie it up or win the game. But they also need to put the ball in the back of the net. Michael Quaresma is into the contest. Seamus McFadden getting him in there. Marshall Feiss throwing it in. And that ball goes out of play. Going to be a goal kick. And the Atlas Tigers going wide with it. And back down in the central to be directed down that far side. No, actually being switched over to the near side of your picture. And they have a player there. But he's being marked by three players. He drops it back. Now he gets it back. Now he's going to try to attack in the box. He does. He's free. It takes a shot, but a save by Boykin. Nice little bit of coordination and what they wanted to do to try and see if they can get a good quality chance. And that was a decent chance by the Atlas Tigers. But they're going to have to do more of that. Try to find a way to outthink, outsmart, outplay the uh, PQ Premier Red. But so far, they have not been able to do that here in the first half as a whole. And that's why they're down four to nothing. They're in their own defensive half, moving it up towards midfield. And a challenge there. And a challenge. Let's see what the center ref says. He says, play on. He says that the player got the ball and not the, play, the opposing player. P 
PQ Premier Red didn't feel that way. The center ref said play on. Off the uh, header. And you saw there the player for Atlas Tigers of Escondido, how he did that. That was quite nice. But that sequence didn't provide much for him. They're on, and they're in on defensive uh, third and uh, playing around with it too much. And a PQ Premier Red, we're going to try to take advantage of it. And now it'll be a free kick. They get it started very quickly. Near side touchline, it goes out of play. And every time it goes out of play, it works for PQ Premier Red in their attempt to win this game as far as the clock is concerned. On it now is Ethan Seeley. Seeley looking for a return pass. It's taken away. Now on the soccer ball. Coming back, the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. And let's see what this call is. And we're going to get a yellow card. Yellow card is going to go against Stephen Griswold. Griswold got more of the player than that soccer ball. And he is ticketed with a yellow card. He is one of those players that would definitely create a situation whereby the Atlas Tigers would have a chance to come back if he ends up with a red card in this game because he has been a very dynamic player for them already in this championship game, even though we still have a whole half left to go. So I'm sure Griswold will um, definitely be thinking, I don't want to create a situation whereby my teammates don't have me uh, for a good measure of the game. Here's the Atlas Tigers of Escondido trying to, again, in the box, but they don't get enough of it, and it is kicked out of the box. And also, it was a foul on the play. Or actually, no, that is the end of the first half. That's the end of the first half with a score. The PQ Premier Red, four, and the... Alice Tigers of Escondido, nothing. We'll be back with the second half. Have you seen what the coaches are telling their players in just a moment? Action is set to get underway here in the second half. PQ Premier is going from right to left on your picture screen. And from left to right is Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Four to nothing, PQ Premier Red leads here in the State Cup Championship game for the boys under 15. Goals by Stephen Griswold. He had a penalty shot. He scored a goal. He had another beautiful play inside the six-yard box. Stephen Poza scored a goal. He also assisted on a goal by Amir Pana. So that's your four goals in a first half. A very, very comfortable lead in soccer. But as I mentioned in the first half, the PQ Premier Red cannot afford to go to sleep. 
because there were some things that the Atlas Tigers of Escondido did in the first half that if they can work on those things a little bit better here in the second half, they can get back into this game. Here's the throw-in, though, for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido, the white and the blue, and that ball is driven all the way down. Poza able to touch it. His teammate now chasing after it. He goes back in their own defensive half. And here comes the Atlas Tigers. The Tigers with numbers. The Tigers down to central. And in standing tall, there is Griswold to get it back upfield. He has done that very well in his first, first half. But Griswold does have a yellow card. He has to be careful. He cannot afford to get another card and be out of this game because he is such a valuable member for them in the defense of their structure. And now here's Boykin off the goal, uh, or actually not off the shot, and just sitting it downfield. Here's uh, Pana. Pana getting that ball into the 18-yard box. Pana again. It dribbles over to his teammate, who drops it off nicely there for Brian Robinson on a run from the back. He takes his shot, and it goes past the goal line. Nice little play, but uh, they did not finish that play the way they would have liked to. So it is still a 4 to nothing game and a try that really doesn't matter here for the PQ Premier Red team. They don't have to score again. They just have to keep the white and blue from getting enough goals to tie this game up, and they'll get the championship of the State Cup for CYSA here in 2006. Greg Porter here at the Lancaster National Soccer Center. Hopefully you're enjoying all the action. Two teams have worked hard to get here to the championship game in a boys under 15 and having the measure of satisfaction on the scoreboard in a big way is the red and black of PQ Premier Red. A uh, nice double team right there in the space and creating a situation, not allowing that ball to go into the uh, deep third. After the throw in, trying to still win it there is the Atlas Tigers. They do for a second and then it doesn't last any longer as it's taken away by PQ Premier Red. And as you see working hard in the space there is Michael Quaresma. And now here's Puna. Puna takes a long distance shot, and it's not going to be accurate. The keeper able to make the save coming off the line to his left. And now he drives it down to central to be met by a PQ Premier uh, player who stopped it. And then now we have a whistle in the center circle. It is going to be a free kick for the Atlas Tigers or rather for PQ Premier Red. And they have the soccer ball into space, trying to make a play. On it there is Quaresma, robbing it back over there to Connor McFadden. McFadden, uh, long ball playing it down the, uh, the near side here, and uh, he was looking for Steven Poza. And that ball is knocked out by the uh, marking defender of Atlas Tigers. A throw in now by Poza. Poza gets it over to Puna. Puna was marked heavily, but it was knocked out by the defender. And uh, it's a throw in. Getting it there to Brian Robinson right outside the 18 yard box. And they still have a big chance with it. They ran it right across the mouth of the 18 yard box and then tried to re regain it again for a good passing attack. It didn't quite work, but that's okay for them because they can still play keep away. They don't really have to score. They just got to keep uh, the ball away from the Atlas Tigers, keep them away from good scoring chances, and they will win this championship game. Only about five or six minutes gone here in the second half. Get the ball out to the wide. And now we have a, uh, a foul called, 
And the Atlas Tigers will have the free kick from their own defensive third. Trying to go across the field, and they do. Now across midfield, and they continue on a run to the far side touchline. But in the central, it is broken up. They still maintain possession of the ball. The Atlas Tigers do. And they're still advancing. And they'll take a shot up high. And that time, they would have been better served to be more accurate with that shot. But it was too high. Down by four goals. When you take a shot at the keeper, you need to be thinking that you need to be as accurate as possible. That one was too high. They've had that happen to them a couple of times in his game. Those are things that the PQ Premier Red says we'll take. If you're not going to take real accurate shots, that's okay with us. Now the Atlas Tigers will have the soccer ball again. And they're going to throw it in. The Tigers playing with a ball that's a little bit wider here in the second half, or at least for some reason it looks wider because uh, it was uh, silver in the uh, first half. Or maybe that's just uh, the nature of the way I'm seeing the ball. As I get older, the eyes starting to fail me. <laughs> Free kick, though, out of their own defensive half. Ball driven down now. In the central. On it, there is Connor McFadden. And now to get a runner heading down the doorstep. And that was uh, Brian Robinson, the midfielder, but he was dispossessed at the uh, appropriate time there. And back with a good counterattack is Atlas Tigers, spinning, weaving, a la Brazilian style. And that one was knocked out of play. Actually, you see that a lot, Central and South America. The ability to weave spin and still possess that soccer ball get around a defender the Atlas Tigers have shown a lot of that and here they finally get a goal they get a goal that is four to one they had a player in that 18 yard box more importantly they had one in the six yard box and that is the score now four to one because they were very accurate in what they were trying to do in their passing attack was something that they had been trying to work on to get better throughout the course of the first half. They started showing life on it in the latter part of the first half. And then they obviously talked about it and they have carried it here in the second half. And it is now four to one. Plays like that will definitely get them back in the game. And if you're the defenders for the PQ Premier Red, you need to tighten that action up because that is something that will allow the other team to have a lot more uh, belief that they can come back and tie and maybe win in the championship game here. In the space. Atlas Tigers are already showing in this game that they can do some wonderful things with a soccer ball and the way they uh, are dribbling, the way they are possessing that soccer ball. And now it is beginning to play a little bit of a factor in the game. It was something they weren't able to coordinate uh, with what they wanted to do and the structure of, of how they needed to attack PQ Premier in the first half. But it is beginning to work to or towards their favor. But there is a nice slide tackle by uh, Tal Midian in midfield. However, they get it back. And a good breakup of a chance down to central that time. If they don't break it up down to central, it could have been a big chance for the white and blue. Connor McFadden was there. 
Here come the white and blue with this corner kick. Trying to see if on a set piece here, if they could cut the lead in half. And it just goes past the mouth of the goal and does not go in the net. They were very accurate again. And that's another thing that you really hadn't saw too much in that first half. And they're taking advantage, I believe, of the win now here in the second half since they switched sides. And they know it can work for them. So, so far they've had a couple of real good set pieces and they've gotten the ball very dangerously uh, into the net both times. Dangerously into the net. They got it in the net the first time and the second time dangerously uh, enough to if they had had a player to touch it, to strike it, it would have been four to two. And obviously, whatever was told to them at halftime, they are definitely starting to carry out. They're executing it. The Atlas Tigers of Escondido, here they come again. They're possessing the ball more. They're possessing it longer now. Trying to get into the 18 bar box, and they've got numbers, and they take a shot. They are beginning now to really create problems for PQ Premier Red as they are starting to get numbers. They didn't have a lot of numbers in the attacking third in the first half. But as they wear, this game wears on and it wears on on how the red and black are going to play, they are more comfortable with the game. But now here's an opportunity, a big opportunity, 1v1 with the last defender, but he stands tall and takes it away from Steven Poza. Poza, who was a good playmaker in the first half, was dispossessed that time and uh, challenged quite well. Here's Puna. Puna tried an extra step, and he wasn't able to hold on to the soccer ball, and they take it away from him. And now they have to retreat back as here come Atlas Tigers. The Tigers on a run. They got a player in the wide. They get it back to the interior. Here they go. They got the numbers. He takes a shot and a save. This was a thing they weren't able to do too well in the first half. But now they're working with each other better. They're taking their time. And here they come again. And that ball goes past. Uh, the last defender, but easily handled by Boykin. Boykin has had to handle more activity here in the early parts of the second half than he did pretty much all the second half. And here come the Tigers again. Down to Central. They have a player unmarked. He puts it there, and Boykin makes a save. Boykin went down towards his left to make the save on the ground. But I'll tell you what. The, the Tigers are playing a different game here in the second half. And they, they've got more confidence now. They're starting to work with each other as teammates. And now they've got the red and black on a run. They're having to defend again. Here it's down to central. Numbers again for the Atlas Tigers. Towards the 18-yard box. Continuing on and retreating back are, is PQ Premier Red. Falling down there is Michael Quaresma, and Quaresma was had a lot of pressure on him, and he decided to do whatever it took to st keep that player from accelerating and attacking around him. He had to do that. They've been doing that quite well, and now here's Poza. Poza says, I want to do something with it myself, but he didn't have anybody there to help him out, and uh, he takes a long-distance shot and easily saved. Remember, PQ Premier Red is up by three, but this game is not looking like a team that's up by three as they were in the first half, up by four. And at the, at the high point, there were times when they were up by less, but they are not dominating like they were in the first half. Now they're getting a little bit more pressure offensively, but maybe they were thinking a little bit more, just can't play keep away and don't worry about trying to attack. Well, that can work against you because you don't tire the other team out. And if they don't have to go the length of the field and worrying about playing defense as well as offense, 
then they have more stamina to play offense against your defense. And if that's the case, they're going to try to pester you whatever it takes to try to catch up. And maybe that's a mindset that uh, finally the PQ Premier Red team is realizing and they're going to push forward a little bit more and, and start to put some uh, counterattacking pressure as a beautiful pass. A save is made by the keeper, and that's about the best they've had in the second half. So they want to try to get pressure against the defenders of the Atlas Tigers. And surely with a three-goal lead, it makes it harder and harder as they get more and more uh, worn out as the game goes on to try to catch up and tie the game or to try to win. On a nice run now, as you can see there, Brian Robinson. Robinson being hounded in that 18-yard box, the attacking 18-yard box. But the defender for the Atlas Tiger playing Tigers playing very well to keep him from accelerating even more and making a bigger play. And now with it, the PQ Premier Red. Nice bit of passing and getting it over to Posey. Posey right outside the box and he can't accelerate in the box. He was marked well, wasn't able to to strike it again with that left foot. So now it'll be a throw in. Steven Poza will throw it in. If I said it was uh, Poza before, that was uh, Puna who was, who was right outside that 18 uh, yard box trying to make the big play. Puna and Poza, they work very well together. They have in this game. Now here's Poza again, but he can't get to it as the Atlas Tiger player gets to it first and drives it upfield. And down to Central they go. And in the deep back, they're able to get to it and send it upfield. Now they're possessing it a lot more from an offensive standpoint is P PQ Premier Red. They're working together a lot better, coordinating their passes. Steven Poza attacking for one more try. And that time he did, wasn't allowed to be able to do it as a defender playing well in the space drives it out of the box and past the near side touchline. Michael Quaresma will throw it in. His team leading by three goals here in the second half. Approximately about 10 to 12 minutes gone here in the second half of play. Across the defensive third and to the other side of the field now for the Atlas Tigers who get their counterattack going. And they had too much pace on at that time and it whirls all the way down to Boykin and Boykin directing traffic. Boykin going to go down the central with his drive, a foot. Trying to get somebody to run onto it, and he does there. There's Poza. Uh, Puna, Puna against a defender there, and he could not get the ball to where he could possess it well enough to get by that last defender who was standing tall to get back for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. The Tigers now, they have it again. The Atlas Tigers on the uh, counterattack, heading toward the attacking third. They've done pretty well with that in the second half. However, recently in the last four, three or four minutes, they are playing better positionally. That is uh, PQ Premier Red and able to kind of keep a lot of numbers of the Atlas Tigers to uh, be able to uh, break through that defense. And that is the thing they were able to do in the first half quite well. But now they have numbers there and toward the attacking third, but coming up with it nicely there is Steven Griswold. And Griswold takes his time, pushes it up the field. Now standing tall right outside the box. And it now goes out of play at a near side touchline, throw in for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. Into the corner now, trying to continue their attack. Lastly, knocked out by the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. So it's going to be a goal kick. And now coming in is Keldon Hatch. 
Hatch is going to come in. Hatch, uh, a defender. And he's going to see if uh, he can help out that PQ Premier Red defensive side of the ball and see if they can keep that ball from being worked quite well in the 18-yard box or the set pieces that they have been successful in one and almost successful in two. Off the header, down to central. Puna finds Poza. Well, he tried to find him, but he was marked too well and the ball taken away. Obviously, that's one of the keys for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido to have any chance here in the second half. They have to mark those two players very well. They cannot allow them good quality chances. If they do, you can forget the idea of coming back here in this championship game. It rolls across down to the central and they tee it up there for Connor McFadden, but his shot was blocked. Coming down to central again. They still are on the soccer ball. They take a shot and it is a goal. I take that back. It wasn't a goal. It was a, it was closely uh, uh, guarded that time and it was nearly a goal, but it did not go in the back of the goal, uh, goal net. So it is brought up field. Again, here come PQ Premier Red. Puna. Over there to Poza. Poza, and they say that Poza was the foul. So now it is driven all the way up to the center circle. Still four to one game. In favor of PQ Premier Red. Poza, around two players, he gets the soccer ball back, drops it off to Quaresma, and he goes to the interior to McFadden, who got it, went back to the outside. Over here to Poza. Poza taking time off the clock. And that's one of the things that they want to do here in the second half, just possess the soccer ball. Don't have to put anything else on the scoreboard but they need to possess the soccer ball and keep it away from the white and the blue and they are passing the ball very well right now but they give it away in his space in the center of the field and they get it back though and it goes all the way down toward the defensive third of the atlas tigers and obviously if you're the red and black you want to continue to play in that area whether you score or not. Atlas Tigers of Escondido hustling it back out of their own defensive half of the field. And then now towards an attacking third. That's what they want to do. Obtain the ball a lot more. Put pressure on the defenders of PQ Premier Red. And here they go again. They kind of uh, were thwarted there for a number of minutes. And uh, now they seem to have a little bit of a better feel at trying to regain it both teams going back and forth at each other to see what is going to be played here in the second half as far as the intensity level as far as the design of this game and still having the great design so far with outcome is pq premier red and leading as you see there puna puna has it now but uh, not able to do anything with it for a second, but then he gets it back and then a shot is taken by Steven Poza. Poza and his team leading by three goals, four to one. And at this point, we are a little bit more than halfway through the second half, both teams. Trying to get to the finish line of this uh, championship game with the outcome as the champion. But so far, PQ Premier Red has the lead towards doing that as they lead by three goals. All done in the first half. They scored all four. They are getting 
shut out here in the second half. But because of what they did in the first half, it could be enough to win this game. Atlas Tigers now accelerating, trying to get somebody to run onto it. And that ball had too much pace on it down to Central for their striker to possess at that time because he was making a nice run in that box. The PQ Premier Red now have the possession and send them back in their own defensive half. Goes up to midfield where the Atlas Tigers have it. They're working it on the wide side of your picture there. Still possessing the soccer ball. The white and blue. And then they now cannot hold on to it at the far side touchline. And it is now going to be, or right, take that back. It turns out to be a foul and a free kick now for the Atlas Tigers. As one of the Atlas Tigers went down on that play. And now the coach for the Atlas Tigers getting some fresh players in to try and uh, add more ferocity to this attack. Get it toward, uh, heading toward the 18-yard box. They've got a player there on it. Momentarily, they got another player to take a shot, and it goes past the 18-yard box, past the goal line, and Boykin will go ahead and tee it up for a goal kick. His team leading by three. Four to one here in the second half. The State Cup Championship game from Lancaster National Soccer Center here in Lancaster, California, the high desert. A lot of wind today. The ball up in the air. Off the header. On it now. Number four, and that is, of course, Quaresma. And then he gets it over into the corner for a service into the box, across the mouth of the box. And it goes un touched by the red and black for the other portion of the attack there and so it's sent all the way down to central and on it quickly there is Christopher Gabriel who turned around and get it going again for PQ Premier Red here they come down and they work towards the outside as Poza trying to thread a pass and he could not coordinate with his outside uh, uh, run of his teammate. And so now it's going to be a goal kick again for the white and the blue. Time is not on their side as it continues to whittle away in plays like this. PQ Premier Red not worrying about a thing as they have the three goal lead. All they want to do is continue to eat the time off the clock and hold on to the three-goal lead. And if you're Atlas Tigers of Escondido, you're wanting them to hurry up and get some goals, make this game a lot more critical towards the PQ Premier Red team being able to win. But it uh, is a game that... Uh, you have to play well for the whole duration. And when you don't play well, you make it harder for, and especially if you only play a half of it well, you make it harder for um, the other team to try to come back as long as you play well in the second half. And the Tigers not playing well in the first half. They're playing better in the second but they have not played well enough to be able to tie the game yet. Here's a long distance shot, and it's not going to work as it goes across the uh, six yard box on a diagonal, past the goal line, and uh, you still see the four to nothing lead in favor of the red and the black. PQ Premier, they have now coming into the contest, Brandon Romero, number eight. And a goal kick as well. They have the soccer ball. And on it is Jose Guerrero. Guerrero getting a nice touch. Who's in this game now. They stiff it up toward the box. They have the touches as they've had in the majority of this game. And that has been a catalyst towards them being able to be ahead and have a potential 
uh, scenario where they're going to come out with the hardware for the CYSA State Cup here in Lancaster, California. That ball coming down, and Boykin will easily handle it down to Central. But he didn't really have anything to worry about that time. And he quickly feeds it off to Stephen Griswold, who drives it out of play. Dangerously close now towards the end of the game for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. If they want to have a chance to win this one, they have to get it going quickly. And they have to stop chasing like they're doing right now as running along the far side there was Steven Poza. And Poza took the shot. He didn't keep get it past the keeper, but Poza ate off time off the clock. And so now that ball is heading over to the far side. And on it, the Atlas Tigers of Escondido, they need to possess the ball a lot more here in these waning moments of the game. They need to try and get some good coordinated passes. They need to be patient, but they need to be accurate. And obviously, if they want to win, they need to finish. But... If you're PQ Premier Red, you're thinking they're not going to be able to put all those things together to catch up with three goals. That's why if you can put four goals on the scoreboard like they've been able to do, then you do that. Ball driven down to Central, the header, bring it back the other way for the Atlas Tigers. And now in the possession of uh, Romero for a moment, his teammates trying to continue up the field but more importantly they accomplish everything as long as they're running time off the clock lots of uh, black gloves worn in this game because of the wind and the wind chill factor the header out of the box beautifully done by the red and black attacking again Atlas of Escondido now toward the 18-yard box. Now they're weaving their way along the box, but they can't get that extra touch. Here they are now winning it again. Players into space trying to make a uh, dummy um, a dummy move with their foot over the ball, but they. Uh, can't do too much with that as it's taken away. Bounce into the air. They call that move more uh, of a crossover type of effect. Into the 18-yard box. Up in the air now. Still trying to possess it. They do. It goes out to the wide. They take a long shot. Boykin has it. Boykin takes his time and will take his time. Not worried about anything today. As long as his team can continue to hold on to this three game or three goal lead at four to one here in the State Cup Championship game. In the center circle. Going to be a substitution. Marshall Feist will come into the contest. Off the free kick. A little bit too far, but now PQ Premier Red has it again. And with it is Poza. Poza on the wide side. Nice challenge there on the wide by the Escondido, the Atlas Tiger player. Up there in the North County. Being able to make the save here in this championship game here in the high desert or uh, make a, at least in the space from it be, becoming a better uh, quality chance for PQ Premier Red. Here they go with one of those chances, and it was a deflection there, and that was a nice pass. I believe that was McFadden running down to Central, and uh, he didn't really get a lot on the soccer ball, but doesn't matter as they have to go long distance to try and – make something happen and they do but it goes past the goal line 
And so now it is going to be a goal kick. Time, the precious time on the clock running out for the white and the blue. Midfield and to the wide side of the field now. And here are the Atlas Tigers again. 50-50 ball on the ground and winning it is the Atlas Tigers of Escondido sending it out of play. But that's not what they want to do. They want to coordinate their attack. Thrown in now. They have possession of it. The PQ Premier Red and they get a long ball. And that just drives their defenders back. And having to, to, to stretch out the entire length of the field. You see the near side. Brendan Romero saying, I want the soccer ball. Showing his desire in the space. Showing basically the desire of the team in this game. That has been effective to keep the PQ Premier Red on top, four to one. Into the box for PQ Premier Red. PQ Premier now, it goes into the box again, another touch, but it's going to be a free kick coming up. The foul, or actually it was a uh, offsides call and it is now going to be a free kick. Free kick now. Be taken by the keeper for the Atlas Tigers. His team down by three. Have to get some things going, and they got to get them going in a hurry. He drives it down the field to try and make that happen, but he finds the red and the black meeting that soccer ball, and it goes out of play. It'll be thrown in. They have it at midfield. And they'll throw it in to see what they can try and do here. A chest trap. The ball is up in the air. Won by the PQ Premier Red. But only for a moment as was taken away by the Atlas. Tigers and they are attacking in the space outside the 18-yard box. But plenty of numbers there for the PQ Premier Red. And they have handled the ball quite well in that area there. There were moments in the first and the second half where they weren't doing too well with it. But they have done and tightened it up a lot better over that time. And that is one of the reasons why they're being set on the scoreboard for a championship. Ball goes out of play. The Atlas Tigers will throw it in. Atlas Tigers of Escondido, a team who made it here, played well to get here to the championship game. And some of the things that they wanted to be able to do, they have not been able to do as well as they've been able to do to get to the championship game as as PQ Premier Red has taken an attack to them from the start and then when things have kind of died down a little bit they've uh, played keep away effectively and they've uh, been able to uh, control the soccer ball the way they want to and that is the end of the championship game where PQ Premier Red wins the championship in a boys under 15 category. The final score is four for PQ Premier Red and one for the Atlas Tigers of Escondido. We hope you enjoyed all the action here in the championship game at Lancaster National Soccer Center here in Lancaster, California. And uh, both teams will shake each other's hands for the effort that they displayed here in the championship game. But the championship will go to PQ Premier Red on this day here. So until we talk to you the next time or see you again, take care and God bless. GK.
Kane. Porter is saying, save this one on the hard drive. Bye-bye now. You guys, I know you guys got a long ride ahead of you, um, but first of all, we want to congratulate PQ Premier Red on advancing, first of all, advancing to the boys' 15 Open Cup Championship game, which in itself is a tremendous accomplishment. All right, I know everybody associated with this team, along with Seamus, is awfully proud of you, okay? So congratulations on being Cal South, boys' 15, state Open Cup champions. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, I think uh, to win a tournament like this, it always starts off with timely goalkeeping. And our goalkeeper, B, come on up. Away, B. Yeah. He, always, he always kept us in games and gave us a chance to win. The next one is you have to have a little tenacity and you have to battle and uh, the ups and downs and I call him my 100% man, Mr. John Bonifil. That's, that's just, hey, that's tradition in Ireland when you get the medal at the final. You get this in the All right. Let's go with uh, the next one, Brendan. Come on up. Anyway, Brendan. Brendan. We have to, have to have guys to come in and give us a lift. Brendan came in and scored a great goal uh, this morning and uh, gave us that lift that we needed. Oh, Brendan, come back. Tradition. Okay. I think uh, this goes to, to, you have to have smart defenders and uh, I think one of our smartest defenders, what I like about him is that he wins the ball, but he also finds one of our players. He finds a red shirt. The great Bill Shankly used to say, guys, keep it simple, just find a red shirt. And uh, Grizzly does it all the time. All right. And a great time to go. Okay. Then we have uh, Mr. Battler, Keldon, come on up. Great job, Keldon! Keldon always gives me 100%. He battles. I think he's probably pound for pound one of our best athletes on the team. He's got to get him thinking soccer a little bit more. And uh, well, hopefully we can pry him away from football and all those other sports that he's doing because he has some talent. Congratulations. Great job. The next one goes to uh, Ethan. Come on up. Ethan! I think, I think Ethan represents the heart and soul of the team. He battles. Uh, just an example of that tackle that he put on a great fair tackle, but it was uh, it was a tough challenge, and you need that. You need those types of players. He works both sides of the ball, always honest and and. You need a guy to bring his lunch pail to work every day, and E Dog brings his lunch. All right, and he and brings somebody else's lunch along with it. Great job, Ethan. All right. I call him Mr. Left Foot, Mr. Jose. Come on up. Jose has the uh, has the ability to score goals with that left foot. He scores timely goals and has done it throughout the tournament. And uh, got a great left peg. He's just got to have more confidence in himself in that left peg. But outstanding kid. Outstanding player. Oh, All right. And uh, next one is Chris Gabriel. All right, Chris. I thought Chris had an outstanding, outstanding 
run here in the final he didn't put a foot wrong i'm on him because one of my pet peeves is when you receive it and you win it and he's always winning the ball but what they do when they win it what they do with the ball after they win it is the key and today he played the perfect game it was outstanding and we needed that battle everybody Congratulations. Our next one is Marshy Poo. Marshy is one of my favorite players because he always does the little things that other people don't do. He'll pick up cones for you. He'll do anything that it takes. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. When everybody runs off and are, are, are caught up in their own little worlds, this guy is always there to help the coach. He did a great job. He's taking him in the right back, right midfield. He was outstanding and had a great week. Good job. Good job. The next one is uh, Tal, our lefty. All right, Tal. Tal went in there. He's still growing, growing lad, but he's got a nice left foot. He outlets the ball well, he battles, he saved a great one there. Was it, I can't, the games have just run into each other. I think it was, was the last, was it this, this morning? Yeah. He went. Great job, job. 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 All right. And then the next one will go to uh, Connor McGoodles. All right, Connor McGoodles. <laughs> Connor had a great tournament. You know, you need the guys to foul, but you also need the guys who can spray the ball about. And I thought Connor stepped up this weekend and had a huge, huge weekend for us in both games and also battled uh, for the ball a lot, and uh, but also got the ball where we're supposed to go. Great job. Yeah. And scored a timely goal on top of it. All right? And next one is uh, our defensive midfielder slash outside midfielder. Just Mikey is just one of those kids that that impresses me every day. Always brings the work ethic. Who always battles. I can always count on him to give him. He's like John. The same mindset. 100% effort all of the time and battles for me. And he's there to plug holes for me. I have to sit him out. They're beating us on the left. I stick him out there. They're beating us in the middle. I stick him in there. Great job. Then another educated left foot is uh, Brian. Come on up. Yeah. Well, Brian, this weekend had an outstanding weekend for us, okay? A very educated left foot. You need the player, but I thought he, 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 wrote, he, he elevated his game from the point of view that we needed to get the ball out. Playing into the wind in these conditions is very difficult. You have to make the adjustments in your game to allow for the wind and, and the environment. And so I thought he was outstanding and uh, two good games and go corner, score, scored on a corner. And he did that twice. The last time we played up here, I think he scored in the corner. Just, uh, you know, knocked some great balls for the assist to, to the big fella here, Grizzy. And those are the things that you need. Timely goals. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Then uh, we have uh, Amir. Amir, I thought was uh, Amir was outstanding today in many ways. You know, we we have Amir target up. We have Pose to play off the target. I thought Amir was just outstanding today, holding the ball. I know he was busting his chops about holding a little bit too much, but you know sometimes coaches are living contradiction because I want him to hold the ball but just to the point so we can spring our players. But I thought he gave them fits today and was outstanding on the day. I can't get through that hair. All right. And did I get anybody that got Poser, right? Pose the last one. And then I just wanted to think, and uh, Pose, come on up. I think, I think if, I was to pick, if I was to pick an MVP of the tournament, I'd have to pick a... a Vacillated between B and, and Poza, but Poza's just the difference for us in terms of stretching the opposition out. He keeps them honest. He's a great, great goal scorer. Has great, great career ahead of him. Gets a little bit more weight and slows himself down in certain situations. He can be outstanding, but he is the key for us. And I really think individually, the key for us, like I said to the guys at halftime, the key to our success is that we translate our possession into goals. 
All right? And that has been the difference for us. We, we have the ability to score goals, and part of the reason is because of Amir and Poza. Thank you. Job. All about the slippers. All about the slippers. And then, uh, last but not least, I just wanted to address, you know, to get to this stage, you just have to have the most awesome manager, and uh, yeah. Carol has just yeah. been awesome. Yeah. All right? yeah. You know? She is a birthday girl. Birthday girl. <laughs> 35. She's still, she's still a honey at 30 for me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Okay. Thank you. Good job, coach. All right. Great. Thank you, guys. Good job, sir. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Nike being the uh, sponsor for Cal South, we want to present a game ball to Seamus where he can do with it as he sees fit. Bag it. Where's my bag? Now I've got three good balls. Before we hand this over, um, I know that uh, putting on a tournament this size is, is, is a very hard task to do and from our standpoint on the committee I know for you guys and other teams down your way it's not that easy to, to come up here um, from our standpoint we want to thank you tremendously for your cooperation um, this whole tournament uh, and just working with us to do what we need to do to facilitate a tournament of this size and Seamus has been around and I think, guys, uh, you've done him well uh, with this. And again, from our standpoint, thank, we want to thank the parents of PQ Premier Red for all their cooperation. Thank you. On behalf of Cal South and the State Cup Committee, we want to present a trophy symbolizing the champions of the Cal South Open Cup 2006 Boys U15. PQ Premier Red. Thank you. Thank you. Again, a special thanks to Cal South. Okay. Right. Know that we're getting something. And, uh, and, uh, hey guys, just as a tradition, what we'll do is we'll hand it to the captains, and each player gets to keep it for a month and put it under mantle, and then we'll put it back. All right. So we'll start off with Posa, and then. We'll Brian Robinson, number 12, center midfielder. Um, it was a fun tournament. We had fun. We had a fun game. It was fun. <laughs> I'm Steven Poza. I am number 11. I am a striker. I go to Mount Carmel High School. And we played great together as a team through the whole thing. And go PQ. That's what I was going to say. John Bonifield, number 16, sweeper. Uh, <laughs> go to Westview High. And uh, I just think we played... Really good together as a team. Came out, good result, I guess. Uh, I'm Kelton Hatch, uh, number seven, outside D. I go to Westview, and it's just like we're one big happy family. Aww, and it's yeah. all about the pregame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Connor McFadden, center mid, uh, go to Westview High School, and. Uh, <laughs> what about the game, dude? Oh, uh, it was good. And I like our, uh, I think it's all about the pregame ritual. Yeah. yeah. Ethan Seeley, number 13, right mid. I go to Westview High, and I think this is a big accomplishment for the club and our team. Chris Gabriel, right defense, number 14. And we just, we just played a great game all around. Michael Kresma, central midfielder, number four. I go to St. Augustine High in North Park. And... Um, we played well. I think the win was a big factor, and that's why it was very hard for us to play there, and I like PQ. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm Byron Boykin. I'm the keeper. Not to say in our tournament we kicked some booty, baby. Yes, we did. <laughs> uh, Brendan Romero, midfielder, Westview. Um, the, the conditions are bad, but we played good and deserved it the most. Talmudian, left back. Uh, number two, <laughs> RB, hi, yeah, 
and uh, we came in hard and we got good results. Yeah. Hey yo, what up? Say to the P. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a striker, number ten. Uh, and uh, I want to say this team is like close to my heart. <laughs> I love them very much, and uh, I love you too, man. Uh, we deserve this win. We played Jogo Benito, and uh, we played beautiful Jogo Benito, and uh, Brazil is gonna win the World Cup. Oh, oh, here, we go, here we go. Shut up. 